Next piece of kit. Media Show 6, Dave. No power. No power. No power. Just it's Media a, Show 6. Yeah. It's all about the show. Okay. See, it's the key words in the titles. That's what explains what it is. <laughs> They're just the way around. And, and what does this do, Mike? What does it do? Well, Media Show 6 is basically your... It's your one programme to store all your media. So you've got your photos and your videos. And it's your one place to show it all off. So instead of having... 10 different folders, clicking them to load a preview. One program will collect all those uh, files into one and it will store it in a nice nice calendar and a nice easy to view. So if you, your granny wants to come round and she wants to look through your digital photos, you can organise them and display them to her. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so if you away. want to look at last Christmas's uh, photos, go to December in the calendar and then that will show all your photos you took in December yeah because it, ta it tags them doesn't it yeah, yeah it tags yeah. them with the date which is pretty cool so yeah. you just have like a big calendar and you just pick your day like yeah. oh it's my birthday on, on the 6th of June you know and, then, and you know you just go back to 6th of June they're on my birthday pictures boom done. Yeah. Uh, they've added a new face tracker piece of kit on there as well so they've obviously taken this from like Facebook and mm. all those big like media Social networking. Yeah, yeah. So if you tag my face in the photos, it'll automatically tag my face in additional photos and videos that you add. So that's cool because it'll match it up to the calendar as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So it's almost like an offline version of Facebook photos, isn't it? Yeah. Basically, yeah. and yeah. I think you can put locations and things in there as well. Yeah. So you can you can spend a lot of time tagging them. Uh, and did you say there's some basic editing in there as well, isn't there? Yeah. So you can like crop and resize your photos and your normal like red eye and mm. magic button to enhance that picture instantly. And there is an ultra feature isn't there? There is, always an ultra feature. 3D pictures. 3D pictures. 3D pictures. Yeah, so it just basically allows you to view your 3D pictures uh, because obviously any other standard piece of software you can't just click on a 3D image because mm. it won't know what kind of image to load as such. So the technology behind this, it'll allow you to view that in 3D. It's all about them 3D glasses. All about those 3D glasses. Yeah. It's making me feel behind the times. <laughs> I need to upgrade myself to 3D. You need an ultra edition. I need an ultra edition. You do. Okay, so the last main piece of software we're going to look at today is Power Producer 5.5. 5.5? Yeah. Okay, so it's like halfway between five and six. Yeah. And again, the producer, that is the key key part. So what does the producer do, Dave? The producer creates the menus and things like that. So okay. like almost like the interface. Say, for example, you use PowerDirector to edit your stuff. Yeah. Before you get to the point of where you want to burn it using power to go you can go into PowerProducer and make a nice little menu for it. So say you've done four or five videos in PowerDirector. Uh, and instead of just putting them on a disc and them loading video by video, yeah. you you know you want a bit of an interface, a bit of a menu system, so you can go. Well, I want to watch that video. Yeah, you know, yeah. you got Granny's 80th birthday there. You've got your your nephew's birthday party. You've got your holiday to Spain. You yeah. know, you just want you want to go straight to that holiday video. So boom, you press it and done. Using Power Producer, you can you can do basic things like changing the background image. You can change the, okay. the sound effect going behind it. You can add visual effects as well. So for example, if you wanted Mike appearing and disappearing out the corner of the screen, coming out of his box, unboxing video, yeah. uh, then yes, you could you could do that. Um, and yeah, it, it just it, it's quite easy to use as well. It's it's dead easy. You know, it's not really complicated. You know, you can just drag a text box, put this is my DVD menu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then just have your videos, you know, you can drag and drop them on to, onto the menu. Uh, it, it, like I say, it's just it's just really easy to use. It's a nice little tool. I've only used it a little bit and I don't know what its big feature is compared to, you know, like the, the older ones, versions. Yeah. I don't know what they've done to, to improve it. I guess they've added more effects. Yeah. Uh, and maybe, maybe changed a few buttons around, but... Again, I think it's just one of those pieces of software that they've included into the suit just to to finalise it off because like you mentioned you've obviously recorded your footage and then you've edited it and then you've added effects and then you want to burn it to other formats and then especially if you want to put it onto disc you want to be able to show someone all your hard work 
because we'll probably end up using it at a more extensive stage with a blast process video maybe a blast DVD. process DVD yeah. with all our unboxing videos and yeah. things yeah yeah definitely yeah. Um, and it also works with Blu-rays as well so if you create a Blu-ray disc you can create a, a menu that okay, will go yeah. on a Blu-ray disc and have all your links to different files that's basically what it is isn't so it even more videos of us even more videos <laughs> of us even more videos of I'm us I'm liking it already <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's just it's just dead easy, dead easy to use, and it finishes it off. It makes it look really, you know, you can put your images and it just presents it nicely. Yeah, especially That's if given as a present. Yeah, you can have happy happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday. Here's some videos of you on Blast Process. <laughs> Brilliant. Sounds good. Sounds good. So yeah, power producer. So they were the main bits of software that come with the Media Suite Ten Ultra Edition, but. There are other programs, aren't there, Mike? There is, Dave. There's another six programs left in this package yet. Uh, we ran through all the the main key programs that a lot of people are using now, like day-to-day -day mm. or week-to-week -week, uh, lifestyle, depending on how much you're into your media. Uh, we're going to list all the next pieces of software on the shiny oh, side. Oh yeah, that's nice. uh, so you can see those on there. They're basically... Not the stuff that you'd use every day, but you'll come across with the need to. So the stuff like Wave Editor, so if you want to... Like you had a problem with your... Podcast. Podcast. You had a beeping sound in the background. Mm. Something like Wave Editor will allow you to delete that little beeping sound. Because it can pick out that wave and pop it off. So it's, it's, like a, it's, it's quite a handy uh, audio editor, basically, yes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there's other programs like the Media Expresso. That allows you to convert your files into another file, but more importantly, to allow that file to run on something similar like uh, your iPhone, uh, your PSP, and some other of the, media device. Some of these handheld devices are very picky about yes. what file types yeah, yeah, yeah. will work on it, so that converts your normal video files and, and music and what have you, yeah. so that you'll have no issue. Cyberlink Media Suite 10 provides all you need to enrich your digital life. So, all in all, it's it's a very handy piece of software, isn't it? Well, like a kit. Yeah, basically. yeah, definitely. I think especially with the launcher as well, it just allows you to pick what pieces of software more easily, should we say. Uh, but all the programs, that, from what we've tested with, the, they're so powerful. Mm. There's so much to do on them, but there is the easy option to do it quick as well. Yeah, yeah. So if you want your extensive work to go in all the little nooks and crannies, then that allows you to do that. Or you can just pretty much click a couple of buttons. And hey presto. Yeah, and it's done. It'll produce. I mean, obviously, if your computer's got a bit more RAM, that'll speed things up. If you're using yeah, quite an old computer, yeah. it might still be a slow process. But if you've got a pretty standard PC should be alright, shouldn't you? Yeah, we did a couple of comparisons from like laptops and then to desktop PCs and obviously the desktop PCs were more powerful so they were they would utilise the new technology for like the rendering so mm. that will produce our videos a lot faster uh, so obviously depending on what you're using it on you'll get varied results but overall it was it literally was the one piece of software that we needed wasn't it? It was, it was We'll reiterate that the Ultra version has, you can get Media Suite 10 standard, yeah. but it's the Ultra version that has all the 3D effects, editing 3D films, which is a big, yeah. big, big thing. You can also purchase all these bits of software separately, but it makes sense to buy it as a package, because it's slightly cheaper yeah. than buying them all separate. Yeah, you will save money by buying the Media Suite 10 instead of the individual pieces of software. I don't know the price off the top of my head, but I think PowerDirector on its own is quite expensive yeah this whole package was uh, roughly around 99 pounds mm. uh, so I think the last time I bought power director that cost me 35 to 40 pounds so just by itself one piece of software let's say 40 pounds an extra 60 pounds and you've got 10 more pieces of software so yeah <laughs> so it's it's a pretty good so, deal yeah, isn't yeah. it you know even if you don't use one or two of them you know, you might in the future when you're feeling a bit more confident, you could you could start using those. Yeah, so. I think we found is 
obviously there is pieces of software that you don't use every day but there is going to be that one time when you need to use that piece of software and trying to find it is going to be a nightmare rummaging through all your DVDs and software collection mm. uh, but at least with this it's, it's all there I can't really think of any other piece of media software that I would need no. to use <laughs> no no, I, I can't off the top of my head to be honest. Yeah. No. It's just to enrich your digital life really. Yes, that's the tagline. Enriching yeah. your digital life. Yeah. So yeah, all about ease. Nicely presented. Yeah. All the programs do what they say on the tin, quite literally. Um yeah, it's it's a nice little piece of kit. So it's a Cyberlink Media Suite Ten Ultra Edition. Check it out, you can get it on places like Amazon, Play, yeah. Places like that. Um, and uh, yeah, we we like we have done a, an article sort of reviewing each of the individual programs briefly. Yeah, so more information, just click on the link, and it's a more step by step breakthrough of what's included. Yeah, but yeah, definitely a thumbs up from from me. Brilliant. So yeah, it's been fun, Mike, as always, doing videos of you. Yes, do you enjoy it. Yeah. Keep checking out our YouTube page and, of course, BlastBrosis.com. Follow us on Twitter because there's been a number of competitions on there. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure we'll do another video in the future, won't we? Yeah. Very soon. See you later. <laughs>